What is going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another episode of this week's Dragon Ball Q&A session where today we have lots of awesome questions to go through and of course coming off of the episode 65 hype with Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, things are going to get really interesting during this episode guys and again feel free to leave your thoughts down below if you guys differ from my opinion of course I leave the questions open to you guys as well so I'm really curious to know your thoughts and of course if you guys have any sort of question to ask me simply drop your comments down in the comment section below to of course be featured in the upcoming episode episode and again if you guys are not subscribed to this channel make sure to subscribe to Unreal ENT Gaming so you guys are always in the loop with the Dragon Ball content and without wasting any time guys let's begin with our very first question of the day which is from Game Time Axe. Hey Alex, I know you're hyped about seeing Vegito return in Dragon Ball Super, brother, you have no idea. And I know you and everyone else are going crazy over him, as am I. Uh, so I thought I might as well ask you and the viewers on the following questions that involve Mr. Vegito. Let's do it, man. Hope this makes it onto your Q&A, uh, which are the best, by the way, easily the most entertaining. Thank you. Really means a lot to me, man. Now, question number one, with Vegito fighting a mutated Zamasu, how strong do you think Zamasu is now compared to how he was before? Question number two, do you think Vegito will have enough power to to destroy him but the immortality is preventing him from doing so or has Zamasu reached a new level of power that not even Vegito can reach question number three can Vegito kill Zamasu or affect his body with his attacks like the final Kamehameha thanks Alice stay rocking gonna spread the word about you because all the good stuff you've done for the community thank you man like that really means a lot to me um now to answer your first question with Vegito fighting a mutated Zamasu is Zamasu stronger now compared to how he was before absolutely uh we saw with Gawasu in the Supreme Kai talking about how Zamasu's key kept rising uh, very similar and I hate to say this very similar to Broly um, but this time you know his key is a lot different his key is divine in an essence I mean he claims to be the supreme god the most powerful god of them all which we all know isn't true compared to like the Omni King and stuff but uh, in terms of Zamasu growing in terms of power absolutely he is definitely stronger than how he was before and you know having to see Zamasu's mutation a lot of us were pretty much shocked and I really wish that I got it on camera because my, my initial reaction once I saw Vegito and mutated Zamasu especially Vegito on the screen I pretty much just lost my shit so having to see Vegito on the screen guys was very exciting for me because I'm a huge fan of Vegito I'm a huge fan of fusions in general um, and ha after having a look at Vegito struggle with merge Zamasu uh, it's gonna be an awesome fight to see but do I think he's stronger than how he was before if you're referencing his new um, mutated ultimate form compared to how he was when he first debuted after the fusion then I would have to say yes because even as strong as Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is in the episode preview we get to see how Zamasu seems to be giving Vegito a little bit of a run for his money so now to answer your second question uh, do I think Vegito will have enough power to destroy Zamasu but the immortality is preventing him from doing so well um, yes he is immortal a lot of us do understand that he's still immortal uh, the Supreme Kai and Gawasu yet again have pointed out that with the combined powers of Goku Black with the combined uh, technique of you know Zamasu's immortality whatever uh, that makes him to be a very unstoppable being in an essence because not only does he have the powers of Goku Black to continuously improve but he also has immortality so uh, do I think that Vegito possesses possesses the power to destroy him absolutely that that's just my opinion of course um if you guys differ if you guys believe that Zamasu may be stronger than Vegito comment down below uh but I think that at this very point Vegito just might be stronger but the only reason the only uh thing standing in his way and, and preventing Vegito from killing him off is the immortality so I think that that's going to be conflicted in the upcoming episodes depending on when you're watching this video of course um but I do think that the immortality factor does play a huge role in this because how in the world are you supposed to kill someone if they just can't simply die and uh, that that reflects off of your third question because I do think that Vegito uh, can have an effect onto Zamasu's body uh, as we saw in the episode preview when Goku was talking about wow maybe our attacks can actually cause some sort of harm to him so perhaps maybe it's the final Kamehameha perhaps maybe it's something else um, I'm pretty sure that Zamasu can feel pain. It's not like he's impervious to pain, but I do think that since he's immortal, whatever pain he's feeling, he can quickly leech off of and grow. Um, and that's what makes him very special and very unique in an essence because Zamasu having the ability to have Goku Black's traits inside of his body, he can easily improve in terms of power over and over and over and over again. Whereas in Vegito, he can only do so much at the time being. So do I think that moves like the final Kamehameha and possibly, you know, the uh, the spirit sword or whatever, like, dude, can they have uh, any, any sort of effect? I do believe they can, um, but unless, of course, they take away and revoke Zamasu's immortality, then I think Zamasu would be very vulnerable because 
if you were if you take that away from him, then you know what what's Zamasu anymore? Like he's not really going to be uh, a formidable foe because now that he's impervious to death, Vegito can easily kill him off. So um, at at this very point, I think that Vegito does have the power to kill him. But given the fact that he's still immortal, it's not going to happen. That's just my opinion, of course. But anyways, Mr. Game Time Axe, thank you for the love and support. Thank you for the questions. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. And I really hope that you have an awesome day, my friend. Now, moving on to the next question, which is from David Castro at Unreal Anti Gaming. Love your videos. Thank you. Honestly, all-time best YouTuber. Thank you for that, brother. Uh, hope to hope you see this and answer my question. Question number one, do you think Vegito is going to want to be unfused? If so, what would happen to the Dragon Ball series? Question two, do you think Goku will train Goten? after this arc uh, is overdue and the fact that Zamasu kills Goten. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Peace. Thank you, David. Well, to answer your first question, um, obviously enough, we know that Goku and Vegeta, they don't like to be fused, especially Vegeta, right? So I really can't see, you know, Vegeta's personality take over and, and for them to say, well, you know, I think we ought to remain this way because of such and such. I think that without a shadow of a doubt, we're going to see them defuse. Um, I think that they're going to showcase and utilize the Dragon Balls, the Namekian Dragon Balls, the Super Dragon Balls, whatever it may be, um, and they're going to unfuse. So if anybody's wondering if we're going to see Vegito appear later, um, that's up in the air. I can't really say for sure. I don't really think he is because knowing Goku and Vegeta, they're going to stay separated, um, but they're just using this 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 one time to fuse because it's a it's it's a call of desperation it's a call to destroy Zamasu after everything he's been doing so in my personal opinion do I think Vegeta would want to get unfused I think so um I think knowing how strong Goku and Vegeta can get separately if if by some chance they ever needed to use fusion again down the road they can do so and become even stronger uh doing it individually or as opposed to staying fused now can ultimately have a negative effect in the future that's just my opinion of course now to answer your second question will goku train goten after this arc um especially after zamasu killed goten in the, in, in the uh mysterious timeline future timeline past timeline whatever um, honestly, man, I think that they've completely forgotten about Goten, so they're not really gonna train him. It sucks to say that because, like, Goku's pretty much neglect, you know, he's, he's neglecting his kids. Um, and I, I mean, can, can you guys really see Goten out of all people, like, keeping up with Goku? That's, that's never gonna happen. Um, never say never, of course, but I can't see Goku taking the time to pause his training to allow Goten to get stronger. If anything, he might as well stick to do, you know, training Gohan and allowing him to be the peacekeeper while Goten grows up and you know does something else but of course um I really can't see Goku training Goten because even though he you know Goten did die during Zamasu's uh, portrayal as he told him when he sold his body and stuff I really can't see that as as a motivate uh, as a motivation to Goku to say you know what um I'm gonna train Goten just because you know he needs to be ready for a situation like that um I really can't see him training now but maybe after like they grow a little bit older I can definitely see that happening uh, but as of right now I really can't so but anyways, David, I want to say thank you for the questions again, my friend, and I hope you have an awesome day, bro. And now moving on to the next question, which is from the awesome Speed Stacker. Hey, Alex, you're awesome. Thank you. I uh, hope you find the time to answer my questions or anyone else to answer this question. I'm curious. Uh, question number one, now we know Vegito is for sure. Uh, what do you think Beerus and Whis's reaction will be to the fusion? Will Beerus want to fight Vegito? Oh my god, would we all want to see that? Or will they unfuse with the Dragon Balls before Beerus sees? Question number two, uh, who will win in a fight Super Saiyan Blue Vegito times 10 Kaioken versus Whis? Uh, question number three, how do you think Vegito and Trunks are going to defeat, defeat Zamasu in the future? Well, I do want to say thank you for the questions. Now, to answer your first question, um, Beerus. Now, it'll be really, I mean, how awesome would it be, right, to see Beerus, you know, finally get a glimpse of Goku and Vegeta being fused? And the scenario that I'm envisioning here is Bulma uses the time machine to go back uh, with Vegito to the past for them to talk to tell everyone you know what had happened and can you imagine Whis and Beerus's reaction when Bulma steps out and then Vegito steps out and Beerus is like wait a minute like who's this like where are the other two Saiyans and Whis right like Whis would know right away Whis would be like oh so that's what happened but Beerus's curiosity would, would be heavily spiked because he would he would look at this Saiyan and he would say wow like you're very different, like, who are you? Like, your power level is just immense. And Vegito can be like, well, me, you know, I'm both Kakarot and Vegeta. You know, we managed to fuse and whatever. So I, I, I think that Beerus' initial reaction would be like, wow, 
So finally, a saying that I can you know call a rival to because Beerus has been seeking a rival now for so long, um, and it'll be really awesome to see Vegito at least talk to him. Um, even if tensions are high, like even if they get into like fighting position, I can definitely see Whis being like, okay, now let's like let's take it easy. Let's not do this here. There's gonna be a, a time and a place for everything, right? So um, that'll be really awesome to see. But however. I don't think that Vegito is going to have any sort of, you know, altercation with Beerus at all. Um, if that were to happen, that would be one of the greatest things, like, ever. Uh, but I, I, in terms of Beerus wanting to fight Vegito, I can definitely see that, given the fact that, you know, Beerus can be like, well, so you're telling me that your powers have multiplied, so you're telling me that you're, you're a far greater warrior than Goku and Vegeta. Fine. You know, like, this gives me a reason to test my powers out and stuff. And I can definitely see someone like Whis or Bulma stepping in and saying, nope, not here. Here, you know, let's just save this for another time and stuff. But uh, I think that his reaction would be uh, like very curious because knowing how you know, uh, like uh, how big of a dick you know Beerus actually is, I think that he would kind of like dick around for a little bit, and then he would he would want to fight Vegito like without a doubt. But I really doubt that's gonna happen. So now to answer your second question, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito Kaioken times ten versus Whis. All right, I, I think that you're you're overdrawing this way too much, but I'm gonna leave that question in the hands with uh, of the audience, and I want to know from you guys. Down below if you guys believe that Super Saiyan Blue Vegito Kaioken times 10 would be able to beat Whis or vice versa. That is something that I'm very curious to hear uh, your thoughts on because obviously enough I, I, I really can't choose a winner here because I can't really say for sure. Um, both fighters would be extremely powerful and this would be somewhat of a universal battle uh, so I want to know down in the comment section below as to what you guys believe. Now to answer your third question, how do I think Vegito and Trunks are going to defeat Zamasu? Well depending on when you're watching this video of course, um, episodes 67, 68, and 69 have been leaked uh, but the titles and the description have not been confirmed yet so those episodes are scheduled uh, up until December but we don't know what's going to happen so what I'm assuming is going to happen here is I think that Trunks is ultimately going to use the Mafuba um, and despite what happens I think that they're going to put some sort of a seal on the Mafuba jar very similar to the uh, sticker that we saw at Master Roshi's now perhaps maybe you know someone like the Supreme Kai can merge one perhaps maybe Gawasu can create one I don't know um, but I do feel as if Vegito is going to is, is definitely going to be the muscle of, of this of this fight and I think that Trunks is going to be the brain so I think that Vegito is going to muscle out Zamasu while Trunks and everyone else comes up with a strategy on how to catch Zamasu off guard once he's weakened uh, to seal him away permanently. So I can, I can definitely see the Mafuba technique um, being played in this. I, I really can't see Vegito honestly like being the winner here um, just because Zamasu is immortal. So given the fact that he's immortal, that gives him a huge advantage over anyone or anything else. So I think that going into this, I think that ultimately enough it's going to be Trunks who's going to seal him away. Um, and it'll make the most sense because this has been Trunks' story uh, and Trunks has been tortured a lot by this. So to have Trunks, one of the main characters of the story, put an end to Zamasu's reign would ultimately make sense to me. So I would have to say use Vegito as the muscle and use Trunks as the brains to where when Vegito makes the call to seal him away, trunks can easily do so uh but anyways mr awesome speed stacker thank you for the questions and i hope you have a fantastic day bro and now moving on to the next question which is from robinson hope you catch this question bro question number one do you think future trunks has surpassed golden frieza that is a good question well to answer your question honestly i would have to say yes in a way just because seeing how strong he's gotten um you know once he battled goku black and especially after transforming um into that mysterious hybrid super saiyan super saiyan blue type you know form whatever it was um i think that future trunks versus imperfect golden frieza because golden frieza hasn't really mastered um his golden form i think that if trunks were to fight him i think trunks would definitely win yeah you guys are forgetting the fact that trunks has gotten extremely extremely strong um you know he, he's even gotten to the point where uh, he's, he was able to, you know, kind of keep up with Super Saiyan 3 Goku in the manga. Uh, and in the anime, he, he obviously got decimated. But in the manga, uh, Goku was like, wow, like, you're almost as strong as a Super Saiyan 3 in your Super Saiyan 2 form. So that, that just says a lot right there. Um, but I think that Trunks has definitely surpassed Golden Frieza. Not by much. I don't think that Trunks has definitely, like... Um, superseded Frieza to the point where Frieza can never catch up. Uh, but I do, I, I, do, I do think that at this very moment right now, if you were to put up Golden Frieza versus Future Trunks, 
I think that future Trunks would ultimately enough just gain the victory on him. So if you guys feel differently about that, just let me know down in the comment section below. But anyways, Robinson, thank you for the question, my friend, and I hope you have an awesome day, bro. Now moving on to the next question, which is from SSJ. Hey, Alex, I love your vids. I've been watching you for over a year now. Thank you, man. I have one prediction question for you. What if Vegito or the person that ends Zamasu does it by twisting Zamasu's own blade into his chest, somehow destroying the concept of him being immortal? P.S. I love your Q&As. I listen to it while doing my chores around the house from London. Hashtag you're the best. Thank you, brother. It really means a lot to me, man. Um... Now, to answer your question, all right, like, having Vegito, I, I, I think at this point it's only going to be Vegito uh, taking Zamasu's blade and turning it against him and, like, just, you know, allowing Vegito to use Zamasu's own attack against him would be kind of cool to see. Uh, but you have to ask yourself, bro, it's like, how in the world would Vegito ever accomplish of destroying the immortality that Zamasu possesses with just the edge of a blade that resides on Zamasu's hand? You get what I'm saying? So I don't think that immortality lies in any sort of attack or technique i don't think it'll be that easy even if you have vegeto stab him a dozen times with his spirit sword and uh, he even grabs zamasu's own energy sword and uses that against him whatever it's not gonna work i think that in order to permanently put him away you're either gonna have to seal him away or you're gonna have to undo the wish of him being immortal and then thus making him vulnerable i mean it's not gonna make him uh completely immune he's still gonna be mobile and very very strong so i think that you know even if vegeto were to twist zamasu's own blade against him that'll be really cool stuff to see um but i just can't see that happening because that'll only indicate like all right well zamasu's weakness was himself the entire time and although to some people they may say well that makes the most sense having zamasu pretty much kill his own concept off of being immortal and perfect um it just reminds me too much of like cell in a way because cell always thought he was perfect and zamasu thinks he's perfect so to create a scenario to where you know he dies via his own blade i think at least would be a little cheesy uh thus i do believe that zamasu deserves the ultimate punishment via a massive massive energy like attack or if he just permanently gets seals off so that's just me um if you guys want to see zamasu get stabbed with his own hand let me know in the comment section below but personally for me i really can't see that happening bro but anyways mr ssj greetings from america and i hope you have a very awesome day my friend and now moving on to the next question which is from jason hey there alex i really enjoy your dragon ball super videos very much thank you in fact i suggested to a couple of buddies from them to check out your channel thank you man like that really means a lot to me bro like having to spread the word about the channel that really encourages me a lot so thank you we think that at the end of the omni tournament after noon universe 7 win you put afternoon uh, instead of after universe 7 wins uh, the omni king is going to want a single winner the fighters from universe 7 will fight each other and it'll come down to goku and vegeta at the end goku will be named the new kai and vegeta will become the new god of destruction what are your thoughts about this well to correct you right there i i i like the idea of having universe 7 fight amongst each other towards the very end but in terms of goku and vegeta becoming any sort of kai or god of destruction that's not gonna happen um that's just a fan-made theory that a lot of us wanted to see for such a long ass time so thus i don't think that it's gonna happen only because the concept of having a god of destruction or a kai is already adapted in the story we have the supreme kai we have Whis, we have beerus there isn't i mean there's like there's no real need to have goku and vegeta become any sort of like god tier ranking because you already have those you get what i'm saying so i mean it would fit the role very perfectly um but at the very end of it at least i don't think that it's ever going to occur to where they're gonna fight for the positions of kai or god of destruction because those positions have already been taken however having the concept of goku versus vegeta in the end would be awesome i think every single person wants to see goku versus vegeta at least one more time and i think that if the omni king were to appoint that that'll truly be an awesome ass fight to see however we wouldn't we, i mean we, we wouldn't really know as to like how tired they would be or like how strong they would be like towards the very end of that um but like again i i do i do agree with you i do think that universe 7 is going to win somehow um that's if they allow fusion that's if they allow like all sorts of stuff to happen um depending on the rules of course and depending on the other fighters and the other you know uh, quadrants of the universe and stuff but uh towards the very end of it however i do think that uh indeed i agree uh goku and vegeta will stand at the very pinnacle of being the winners um 
But in terms of how it all ends, uh, we're going to have to wait and see once December rolls around because once December rolls around, we're going to find out more information as to what the next arc is going to be. Uh, but in terms of having their team win, I agree. Uh, but in terms of having Goku and Vegeta fight for any sort of position, I don't agree on because that just seems too soon for me. But anyways, my friend, again, thank you for the questions, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And again, guys, I want to say thank you all for watching this episode of the Dragon Ball Q&A. The next video will be out, I do believe, roughly around Thursday, since a lot of you guys have questions to ask me. So if you guys have any more questions to ask me, of course, drop them down below. Be sure to also spread the video all over, guys. That will really mean a lot to me. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Subscribe for more daily content, guys. If you guys have not checked out my vlogging channel, you guys might want to go in ahead and take a second to do that. Lots of awesome content on there as well thank you guys for watching i truly hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did enjoy make sure to slap a like on this video god bless you all have a wonderful day and i'll be seeing you all in the next video take it easy guys peace